Oh, welcome in. Today I've got an amazing just two pack here of CRTs that I'm going to display for you. Quickly run through with you. I'm going to show you some things on the inside. And these sets have had some upgrades, been fully restored, and they're about to go to a good client of mine named Tony. He's about to get these. We're going to ship them off today. And I thought I'd give them one last look real quickly here and just show you the spectacular, amazing things that can be done with just an eight inch screen. On the left, we have this eight inch professional monitor. This is a 8044Q PVM from Sony and it is running RGB right now through a modified Super Nintendo and just looks amazing. And right next to it, we have the Sony KV-8 AD12 and it actually has been modified from its original composite video input mode to add an S-video mode. It has a much better image with the S-video modification. And of course, we've got the best console in the world, the N64, natively producing S-video for this television. Here's the back of the KV. This is the S-video input right here. It is additional. I'll run through that a little bit more as I open it up and show you what that modification looks like on the inside. First off, this is inside the shell where I installed a little custom board that just allows you to do S-Video. And then I will have a little breakout cable right here. I did have to trim this board all the way down to fit in such a tight spot because it has to slip between these two boards right here. We'll look at in a second. But it's got a couple breakout points on this cable and then that goes around to the modification in there. It's really a simple mod. There's a speaker that sits over in here, but in order to make adjustments, you have to slip into these little parts down here and under there and oh my goodness. So if you want more information about this modification, it's very simple. You go in here and you tie a point to ground and a point to the composite video input and then a point to a chroma spot. So you're gonna send Luma and Sync in through the composite video input and you need ground. And then finally you need a place to put chroma in and this bypasses all the uh, filtering and stuff done by the composite video. So if you wanna know more about the modification and documentation on the actual CRT itself, I will include a link in the description to the CRT database. Shout out to Andy King for putting all that great info together. All right, so just one more thing here. Here's this tube. This tube is a 250 line tube, which is a very nice tube, A20, and it has a bunch of other numbers down there, but this is a tube that you will find in some uh, professional video monitors that are eight inches. So it has an incredibly good picture, especially now since we've upped the resolution with the S-Video input. All right, well, here's our finished up cool little KV set and it's just running S video. I did a color adjustment and adjusted just about everything I could get to on other things like geometry and stuff just using the 240p test suite. Now I will warn you that you cannot get great edge geometry with this set. It's just not capable of doing that uh, but you can get very good geometry within the centers of it and also get colors to look amazing. They really do have some good color adjustment on this set and uh, that really made the set look amazing. So this is, you know, the kitchen top special. You might have seen these in the kitchen growing up. They actually have an attachment where you can hang this under a cabinet. All right, before I get these things packed up and ready to ship out, I'm going to run some final checks. I may even run a degaussing on them, especially this one right here. I am seeing a little bit of a blue hue over here that hopefully we can clear up. Yeah, you can see how we did get some magnetism introduced over here. It's got this yellow hue. So we definitely need to pull out the degausser and try to get rid of that. All right, looks like we cleared that up pretty good, didn't we? I know the 
YouTube is scrolling there, but I don't really see any purity issues anymore now. Let's check the other colors. Looks good. It's super clean in here. Uh, it has been again serviced and there are some things that were faults on this monitor and all those things have really been addressed. This is meant to be opened up and serviced. Each of these boards can be retracted out and adjustments can be made on them. Uh, the input board is back here. This is our little power supply. Down in there is our board that has uh, our flyback in it. And then this is obviously the anode cup where that flyback goes into. There's a little neck board. All right, I've opened these and made a couple of quick adjustments inside here, but I just wanted to give you another view of what it looks like. Here's the board where you can adjust your colors and your sub brightness and things along that nature. And then the other side, again, has those adjustments down in here for your geometry and things like that. And uh, so this has, again, been fully serviced. And it's just a quicker look at all the hardware in there. One of the cool things is you could set these on a video loop really easily now through S-Video. You could also do that through composite, but you will have a better picture using S-Video on both these CRTs. Now I will tell you that this one over here just seems to be a heck of a lot brighter. And so whatever for whatever reason, this is just pushing the heck out of the brightness and contrast even more. I've, I've really adjusted it a lot. I tried to match the colors a little bit using phase and chroma, which you can do on the fly here. Uh, but if you're looking for sharpness and just a better overall picture, you're definitely going to get that with the PVM. But I will tell you, this one looks bright and pretty and still looks really good. Um, but either way you go, you can't lose with this 8-inch combo. Yes, we have our two CRTs packed up in this lovely big package. Plenty of foam. There's double boxing going on in here. And then this is a double wall box. And this is going to be sent via uh, airmail. No ground shipping here. All right, guys, so I haven't had the best hair day, but hopefully you enjoyed this little short video on a couple of really cool CRTs. And if you did, please leave a like. And uh, I will also leave a bunch of information in the description of the video. Thanks again, everybody. I'll see you next time with some more retro content. Thank mm -hmm. you.